What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than after kill. And I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And when it comes to video game history, there are very few CEOs in the gaming space that have a more notorious reputation than Randy Pitchford. Whether it's physically assaulting the voice actor of Claptrap, Stiffen his own developers for their bonuses or losing a company USB flash drive filled with gearbox assets and some suspiciously aged models performing. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that over the last past 15 years, that Randy Pitchford has earned the title of the most notorious game developer of all time. And it's not even close. <laughs> and I've personally had multiple run-ins with Randy in the past. Most notably, when we got into a very public Twitter disagreement over the quality of the Waddle Gobbler's release, in which Randy claimed that the Waddle Gobbler was an awesome DLC, and that my review, in which I said that the Waddle Gobbler was a phoned-in DLC, made their developers cry themselves to sleep at night. <laughs> However, Randy's hatred of content creators stems further back than the interaction we had during the Headhunter packs. Way back to the launch of Borderlands 2. To the days of the conference call and B-Nerf. You see, Borderlands history revisionists wants you to think that the community was upset that Gearbox would fix such a devastating combo in the game. However, because Gearbox nuked the old forums, I can't show you the evidence that people weren't so much angry about the conference call in B-Nerf. More so, they were angry that Gearbox was nerfing weapons in the game before fixing a lot of the issues that Borderlands 2 had at launch. Most notably, the 24-hour raid boss lockout, the graveyard.exe virus, and dedicated loot drops not dropping in true Volt Hunter mode. So, I took it upon myself to help the community out the best I could with the loots not dropping in true Volt Hunter mode. And I would hold duping lobbies on the Xbox 360, where a team of me and a few of my friends would join everyone that sent us an invite, and we'd come into their lobby and drop pretty much every single legendary in the game at level 50 and let them sort out what they wanted because these drops were not in the game at launch dropping in true vote hunter mode at level 50 so there was literally no way to get this loot at level 50 outside of farming the warrior for world drops <laughs> and these actions would go on to get me labeled by randy pitchford as an e-terrorist and our subsequent interactions afterwards would go on to inspire the Calypso Twins as evil content creators. And this is when Randy got his idea to try and buy the content creators in the industry. Saying that they read the forums constantly. They appreciate the visibility to the issues. However, they need to train 
good behavior within the community. God damn. That is just dripping with condescension. Now, isn't it? <laughs> but how do you train good behavior? You give an incentive. You give them a treat. You dangle a carrot in front of the horse and you get him to walk to the carrot, pulling the cart. And that's exactly what Gearbox would do prior to Borderlands 3, is purchase every single Borderlands creator in the space and then making an example by firing two of the most vocal voices in the Borderlands community early in the Borderlands 3's life cycle to keep the rest of the content creators in line. Effectively using the Borderlands 3 content creators to police the community and train good behavior within the community. Exactly what Randy Pitchford wanted. A community full of loyal pets that don't bark at him when they're hungry and want to be fed. A community full of submissive fans that will bend over and just let Gearbox have their way with the franchise because complaining about so would be toxic and negative. A community so afraid to speak up because doing so will get you banned, blocked, and ostracized from the community. And every single one of you that are still making excuses for Gearbox, 2K, Jolts Dude, Schiller 6, and Epic Energy's actions over the years, that's exactly what Randy Pitchford wanted. You're just a loyal pet that's been trained to sit down, shut up, and don't speak Unless you're spoken to. You're Randy's little lapdog. God damn. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. And really thumb up on the video. I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. So those of you guys that sit there and still make excuse for this company and the figureheads of this community for what they've allowed to happen to this franchise and this community you only have yourself to blame in this situation i've gone to bat against gearbox many and plenty of time so much so that the ceo of the company thinks that i'm an online terrorist for my opinions and past mobilization of my community for the betterment of this franchise. And I would have done it again during Borderlands 3 if Randy didn't purchase the entire community's silence and make it seem like I'm the only one in the community that has an issue with Borderlands 3 at long. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. My name's Jay, more than after kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.